Hello, welcome to another video from Revel Point. We have a new scanner, the Mini 2, so we wanna go over some do's and don'ts, things to avoid, and some tips in this video. So first of all, the proper size of what things you wanna scan with Mini 2. We have three models here, this smaller angel astronaut, and then a very little cat thing evidently was once on a necklace. So we're gonna compare which ones it can ultimately handle. It can handle this angel, maybe something around the size of a football, American football, you don't wanna go over that, or a rugby ball, so that's about this size. Ideally, the astronaut is perfect. We'll see how this works out. So we'll start with the smallest one and see if it can actually handle that. Another good reference, a cubic centimeter is ultimately what you should not go under with a Mini 2, so that's about one dice. So that, this is smaller, but let's still try it out just for the sake of experiment. So we're gonna focus in on this, make sure you're close enough. Again, looking at the distance bar, keep it around excellent. Exposure on the depth camera is auto. RGB is at 54. It's not really picking it up on the screen. All right and start. Not enough point clouds captured. Cannot use something of that size, that is too small. Again, one cubic centimeter, so clearly cannot scan something as small as this little cat. Now, let's jump to something larger. This is possible, putting a little angel on there. And again, with the, with the Mini 2, it's best if it's stationary. But of course, with an object like this, it cannot be stationary. Sometimes you have to lift up things like Morocco and Range and Pop Series. You can all move them around. It's gonna be easier with the tracking, but many you really wanna stay stationary, but not to say that you can't lift it up. You just might lose tracking. So be careful, have a steady hand as you're trying to scan the object with Mini 2 if you're gonna lift it up. All right, so I'm gonna start at the bottom and then move my way up to the top with the wings. And again, this is about as large as you want to go with Mini 2. Roughly the size of American football or rugby ball. Auto exposure, okay, let's go. And as you're moving up, make sure you catch at least 30% of previous point clouds as you're overlapping. And keep it steady. So it's doing all right so far. What's gonna be hard is around the wings. So really an object like a football would be pretty, even though it's larger for Mini 2, wouldn't be so difficult does it, because it doesn't have as many changing shapes as this uh, model does. Just remind me to keep my hand steady. And I'm bouncing back and forth between the RGB camera and the point clouds that I'm capturing when I'm scanning this angel. Just have a little bit of the tip of the wing that I didn't capture. I can get a little bit above her head. All right, nice, I'm gonna pause it right there. Let's check out the point clouds, the result. Zoom out a little bit. Yeah, so not too bad. It's not the easiest scan, and again, it's about as large as you wanna go, but all in all, without processing it, editing it, the point clouds that were captured are it's pretty full. So things with less models that don't have things like wings like this, objects, extruding out, it'll be a lot easier. All right, let's try now what Mini 2 is really ideally meant for, something of this size, this little astronaut. And with this, there's no need to lift it up. You can keep Mini 2 stationary the whole time. The depth camera, I have it on. I have auto clicked off, it's on two right now. And then with RGB is auto. But then halfway through, as it makes it way around, I'm gonna pause it and then flip it on its side so that we can capture the head and the bottom of the platform that the astronaut's on. OK, 
Okay. Let's pause it for a sec, flip it on its side. And when you do restart it again, make sure that you start it up in an area where you already have a decent amount of point clouds. So you wouldn't wanna, I wouldn't wanna unpause it when I'm at its head or at the bottom because I haven't properly scanned that area yet. So I'll wait till it revolves around. Oh, here's a good spot. Caught it right away, nice. All right, and there we have it. Let's check it out. Just looking at the point clouds, not editing at all. Really did a nice job, not too many holes. But of course the software would fix that if there are a couple. Some of those hard to reach areas under the helmet, maybe a few little holes, but ultimately did a great job. So again, Mini 2, the different objects that you wanna scan, this would be ideal. You don't wanna go under the size of something that's one cubic centimeter about the size of a dice. So the little mouse, the little um, toy cat necklace thing that we had here was a bad idea. It didn't capture any of it. And this is about as large as you want to go. About the size of a football or rugby ball is doable, but you just need to be patient with it and keep your hands steady as you're moving because Mini 2 is ultimately meant for being stationary.